What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create a messenger objective campaign ad on Facebook. This is a really cool ad type that allows you to communicate with people directly straight through Messenger. So the way it works is it's basically an ad that you can place in, in a variety of places, same as any other ads in the newsfeed or um, in the actual messages that, that, that people have. Uh, it will be a sponsored ad. And when people click on it, they will be able to directly message you. So they'll immediately receive a message that you set up for them. And then they'll have an option to reply. And then that's where the communication begins. You can have a conversation with them. And you can access those conversations through your messages through your group. So if I go to my group now and I click on inbox, I will see the messages from those people that responded to my ad there. So it's so it's a really great way to uh, maintain that personal connection with people, especially useful for people further down your funnel, not necessarily cold traffic, more so warm traffic of people that know you, know your product, and you kind of want to get uh, to know a little better, maybe for expensive products, people to whom you want to sell expensive or high ticket item products to. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is click on create campaign here. I'm in my Facebook power editor <clears throat> and let's enter a name. So I'll say online marketing for a name does not matter. Uh, leave it at auction. That's the only option available. And we can click on messages ad set name. I like to make an ad set name uh, <clears throat> based on my audience. So for example, uh, my interest group, let's say will be some Facebook group. Let's say WordPress I'll be targeting doesn't matter ages 25 to 65 and only in the US, whatever, okay, doesn't matter. I'll name this ad one and let's click on save to draft. So now what Facebook is going to do is it will create the campaign, ad set and ad, and you have to go in and fill the blanks. So we've done that, it's going to say there's an error, don't worry about that, it's just because your ad is still incomplete. So let's actually go into the ad set level now, make sure you select this so that whatever your ad is so that you actually go to the ad set for that corresponding campaign and let's click edit and here is where we actually select our audience at the ad set level and our placement and stuff like that so the first thing at the very top you see here aside from the title is how you want to um, send your messages so click to messenger means that um, your ads will be sent to people if they click on your ad if they click on your ad, they'll get a message and then they'll be able to respond. Now, if you select sponsored message, what that does is that allows you to um, send a message right away to everyone that you communicated with from your group. So it will just send them an email right away or, or a message. Now, obviously, this isn't allowed for anyone else because it would be to, you know, marketers would abuse that and they would just send uh, Facebook messages to everyone. You'd get thousands of Facebook messages every day. So obviously this is limited only to people that you've already established a connection with and have talked to in the past. So for now, I'll stick to click to messenger ads that anyone can click on and can communicate if they're interested. You can select your budget. That's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into too much detail in that. You can select your audience. So let's go and let's just say, Maybe, oh, sorry, this is a custom audience. So if you have a custom audience, you can do it there. You can use a lookalike custom audience. I have videos on that. Check out my Facebook playlist if you're interested about that. I do cover that in detail. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, you can put in locations. Again, include or exclude basic Facebook stuff, basic Facebook ad management. Nothing new really here. Again, you can change the age. I said age 25 to 65, so I'll just stay true to the title. Uh, maybe I'll remove Canada as well just to stay true to the title, but it does not matter. Uh, so here's where I would put in the group. So let me say WordPress. Again, this is just for illustration purposes. You can save the audience and you can access it later on from your saved audience list. That's up to you. And here is where you would uh, adjust the placements. So I'm going to go ahead and edit placement just to show you where you can put it in. I'm probably going to remove Instagram. So it you know, Facebook now shows you where and what each placement means. So if you want to have these messenger ads, you must have it show up in your newsfeed. If you, if you deselect it, it won't work. So you must have it at least show up in the newsfeed and you can also select it to show up in the messages. So if people scroll through the messages, they'll see something like that. You can see it right there. It's like a little sponsored ad. And when people click on it, they'll get a message from you right away. Um, now, this is just, this is a new placement. This applies regardless of what campaign type you're running. So if you're running a traffic campaign type, you can still place your ad here in Messenger, okay? So don't get that confused and think that 
um, you can only put these ads for messenger types. That is not the case. So I'm going to leave it at that. Again, some more modifications. You can do it on all mobile devices, Android only, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can bid here based on impression, based on automatic. So automatic, basically here, you'll be paying for every thousand views that people see your ad, um, but you will see the cost based on how many people responded, stuff like that, to help you gauge how well your ad is doing. So now that that's done, we're pretty much good with this part. We have one more thing we have to do in order to complete this ad. We have to go to the ad level now. And here's where we actually complete the ad and we specify what is written in the message when someone clicks on it, what options do they have to reply, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and click that. Uh, let's choose a page to represent it. So let's say I will select my awesome YouTube page and I will select an image. Uh, let's say I'll select this one. That will be my image. So that's how your ad is going to show. Okay, so let me just show, um, desktop newsfeed. So as you can see, it's just like a regular ad. There's nothing different. Over here is the call to action button. So same as before for any other different type of campaign, you can select send message there. You can select book now, whatever it is, and people will, will be directed um, and they'll receive a message from you if they click on it. So let's just leave it at send a message for now. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. We, we have all our pixels set up here. Uh, so let's just do a few things before we go to set up the messages. So here's the headline, by the way, that shows up there again, just like a regular traffic ad. Um, so we can say, you know, messages in messenger now, something like that. Um, in the text, you want to explain what you're promoting, what you're doing. So maybe, Hey guys, I know you have been with me in this group for over a year now, and I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to extend an invitation to you um, to ask anything you want I'll talk to you soon. Obviously, some some bullcrap, but um, just to give you an idea, you know, you wanna you wanna make it personal. These are people generally you'll be promoting to that you know that are further down the funnel. You wanna build a more personal connection. Maybe ask them some questions again, really specifically. If you're trying to sell some high ticket items, this is perfect for it. Okay. So say something like that. Now let's actually set up the messages. Let's say what people will see when they actually click on your ad. So here's what you would do here. So this is the default. You can have a text and image. You can have a text and video. You can have a text only. And that's, again, that's what's going to show up and people will have the option to select that. So let's go with text and image for now. Uh, you can have an image title. You can have a subtitle, the best page ever. Okay, just to show you what it looks like. Uh, you can edit this and just let us know how we can help you and we'll be more than happy to help. Now, you can also add personalization. It doesn't have to be first name. It can also be, so if I remove this, for example, I can add full name, okay? Um, now, it does not look too good here, as you can see with that exclamation mark, so just make sure you kind of uh, fix, the, um, um, fix the, the grammar there a little bit, you know, make it, make sure it looks good before you submit it. Sometimes if you make changes, it goes off a bit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so here you can add suggested replies. So let's let's add a few here. Let's say I'd like to know more. How much does it cost? Um, what is involved? Something like that. So what this is here is people have the options to kind of uh, send a quick reply right away. So if any of you guys have Gmail, you know that when someone sends you an email, you have kind of three options, which are pretty dang relevant. For Gmail, you have three options you can select and quick reply like, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, talk to you soon. Oh, you know, small things like that. That's the same thing you would do here. So as soon as someone clicks your ad in Messenger, they will see this message right right there. So again, first name, right? Whatever their first name is. They'll see a little picture there um, based on whatever you put here. So you can change that out. I'm just going to leave it as is a little description. And then they have the options to reply. Now, if you have a bot, um, I, I know there are some bots you can connect. I forgot what it was. It was like mini chat or something like that. If you connect it, basically what that's going to allow you to do is to have a reply for their reply. So if someone says, I'd like to learn more, you can actually set up an automatic reply to that 
answer, okay? I'm not gonna go over into this now, but that's a feature that's available. Uh, you just have to install certain uh, bots. If you click on learn more, uh, you can find out a bit more information. You can go ahead and do that if you want, but for now, this is just the basic, this is the core of what you really need. Okay, so I disconnected a bit there, so I kinda had to refill all this data, um, but one more thing I wanted to show you is if you go to preview in Messenger, if you click on that, that will automatically send this message to you to your personal account and will allow you to see what it looks like and allow you to test it and allow you to click one of these buttons. When you click one of these buttons, if you go back into your business profile, you will see that customer's reply in your inbox. So it's really cool because you can you can go to your inbox and you can communicate with people like that through your ad. So you will be able to see everyone that replied to you, okay? So after you do that, you click done, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you Now you see there's no error. You click on review draft. You click on confirm and you should be good to go. It should be running, all right? So that's about it. That's how you create a messenger ad. Sometimes it does glitch out a little bit. For example, if you go to um, in your ad, if you go here to edit and you go to set up messages, you go to JSON and then you come back um, it kind of resets everything. So small things like that, just um, keep in mind, probably something I should have mentioned before as well. Um, if you go to JSON and then back, it kind of resets. So there, there's still a few glitchy things I found to be with this. Sometimes the ad may not exactly work even if you set up the messages. Um, so if that's the case that happens, just log out, log back in again, keep trying, it, it should work. So if small things like that happen, just keep in mind that um, it's not you, it's Facebook. So something's going on and just, just give it some time to readjust. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful. It is a great marketing feature to use, especially, like I said, for people further down the funnel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to help. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.